please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me start this conversation by getting your comments uh, on the interest rate regime. Uh, we have seen the best of times as far as uh, easy financial conditions with respect to interest rates, uh, but uh, there is an expectation now that uh, interest rates will start moving northwards. Uh, uh, what and how, uh, wh what is your expectation regarding the global interest rate regime and how would it impact infrastructure financing? You see, after years of very difficult times for a number of countries, particularly developed countries in this world, uh, finally, some people see uh, the economic rebound has been pretty strong. You notice this in the United States, in European countries, and also in Asia, such as China and uh, many other countries, including India. So uh, this is certainly very good news, but as a corollary, you will find the interest rate will be going up. Mm -hmm. and uh, the cost of borrowing for a number of people might be higher. But you see, uh, I think uh, uh, at least you should say this is very good news. My view is uh, uh, the governments or the private sector or any investors should take advantage of this opportunity to sustain uh, their development, uh, business development, or the country's you know, economic development, by taking a new approach, learning from the experience how the investors could be more cost effective, how the investors can put their money in the best of the places, and how the government can improve the uh, enabling environment for the private sector to invest. So this is good news, but uh, you see there are always challenges, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you were talking about how uh, there should be an environment uh, uh, which basically enables private investments. I had a supplementary on what uh, you, you have said. Uh, in India, for example, many believe that, uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, the private sector investments in infrastructure sector is, is not expected to pick up anytime soon uh, and that perhaps is true for many other em emerging countries as well. What according to you is your sense uh, as far as private sector investments uh, and what kind of policy interventions could be needed to ensure that private sector also starts uh, uh, investing in the infrastructure? Uh, to be fair, uh, India has been uh, consistently uh, developing its infrastructure uh, projects over the last decade or so. Uh, some people, uh, your people, told me comparing to China, they have this urgency of developing infrastructure uh, projects. Sometimes people even ask me how long it takes for India to catch up with China. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my answer is infrastructure investments are important, but there are a couple of things uh, uh, probably you should take care of. One, how balanced the infrastructure development program should be. And but by balancing, you mean? Balanced, uh, because infrastructure projects should cooperate with each other. You build a power plant, you need transmission lines to match it. You build a port. Now, how can you link the port with the hinterland uh, provinces or states by roads, railways? How do you develop your airports? So all these kind of things must be considered. Uh, from the very beginning. So sometimes you will see it's not the speed of development of a one particular infrastructure project. It's the how balanced infrastructure development program will be. Mm -hmm. So we, from the uh, development perspective, oh, are very much careful uh, about the balanced development in infrastructure. We don't want to see a power plant being built is waiting for this transmission systems, right? So, so this is something which cannot be rushed. I think I would say be consistent in developing a very good program, national program, uh, would be very much productive. And our idea is to dovetail our support for India as for any other country into the national development program. Right. Uh, last year, uh, our finance minister, Arun Jaitley, in, in, in your uh, annual meeting, talked about how you know, India uh, was, it was preparing a pool of uh, two, three billion worth of infrastructure projects to be financed by AIIB. Uh, 
can you give us an idea about the kind of projects that will be financing going forward? We already have five projects which you have financed. Uh, so what kind of projects will you be looking at and in, in what sector? Uh, we uh, have some projects pretty firm and in the very advanced stage of preparation. Uh, very soon you may see uh, we would uh, uh, approve a project for NIIF, National Infrastructure Inf you are already involved in one NIF investment? Uh, no, 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 investment? no. The first project approved is the private equity fund. Yes. It's not uh, sponsored by the government. Uh -huh. This national infrastructure investment fund is I initiated by the Indian government. Mm -hmm. The previous one was a purely private sector equity fund. Okay. And are working with Morgan Stanley. Uh -huh. I think it's Morgan Stanley. And uh, uh, we are, we, we are now uh, uh, working on Bangalore subway. Mm -hmm. And we will be uh, uh, working in Mumbai, uh, Metro Line Number Four, mm -hmm. right? And also there's a rural road project. Right. Yeah. So we we have. Uh, so in the pipeline, you know, uh, tentatively, what kind of projects? Uh, how much would you be financing? Yeah. Uh, I can only tell you, we will be scaling up our lending programs for India as we move forward. Mm -hmm. So my basic idea is that on the one hand, we should push for a bigger lending program for India. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we should try to develop uh, infrastructure projects in other countries so we have a balanced, uh, balanced approach right. for all of the borrowing countries. Right. Last year, uh, AIAB said how this, uh, uh, this annual meeting will also be an occasion for you guys to meet the financial sector Indian companies in Mumbai. Uh, what will be AIAB's message to them? Uh, we would like to see that the financial institutions uh, in India would be more actively participating in the infrastructure development mm -hmm. and we are looking forward to s exploring the opportunities of working with the local companies mm -hmm. so that we can do more in improving India's infrastructure. So financing private projects? Uh, that's uh, okay. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we want to crowd in the private sector, mm. uh, both Indian investors and outside investors. Mm -hmm. So can we expect more uh, equity-linked uh, participation like that you had in NIF? Uh, uh, equity, equity certainly is, is one way of doing things. And, uh, but mostly we provide lending mm -hmm. and because we control equity uh, by our policy under 10%. Mm -hmm. So it's still possible, you know, to do quite a number of equity projects, uh, but most of the uh, financial uh, resources are the loans. Right. Mm. Uh, a quick question before I move on to the last set of questions. Uh, you'll be hitting the European bond markets uh, this year itself? Uh, uh, you see, uh, we uh, have uh, obtained the AAA ratings from the AAA, from the three rating mm. companies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are ready to go to the international capital market mm -hmm. to raise funds as a common practice. Mm -hmm. But uh, when uh, that depends on a lot of actors. And also, you know, in local currencies, like, you know, in, 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 in countries like uh, India? Local currency uh, financing is certainly uh, a an, an, an topic which, must, which could be discussed. Mm. But first of all, we need to develop our in-house capability, the treasury functions, mm. to see uh, whether it's possible of how soon we can consider a local currency. But this is something financing. which you, you have... Uh, uh, th this is uh, something we are looking at. Right. Mm. Quick question. Uh, uh, will you be then, you know, interested in, in India's initiative of, of jump-starting stressed infrastructure projects? We have this bankruptcy code proceedings which are on basically uh, arranging financing through some other mechanism for those stretch projects. Could AIB also look at uh, participating and financing some of these bankable but stressed uh, infrastructure projects? I, uh, I have not been approached. Uh, certainly, uh, I would be interested in looking at this. Mm -hmm. This is not the normal approach for an MDB. Whether we can explore that uh, kind of possibility, uh, I cannot uh, uh, give you any, any uh, definite idea about that. Right. My mm -hmm. last two questions. Mm -hmm. um, growth. 
uh, in, in countries like India, for example, uh, we are seeing growth on a downward trajectory. Perhaps we'll be registering the slowest growth in four years. In China as well, we are seeing growth coming down. What is your sense uh, on growth in Asian uh, You see, if you look back uh, for uh, three or four decades ago, whether it's Indian or China, when they were uh, starting to uh, develop, the starting point was very low. Now, after three or four decades, the economic base is much broader. One percentage growth is not the same thing as the, that three or four decades ago. As the economy starts to mature, uh, slowing down of the economy is something which is inevitable. Uh, what is Im most important for me is the quality of growth. I think it's time for China and India uh, to consider how to improve the quality of the growth rather than just the numbers. Right. A last question, and this is, uh, this is uh, a comment uh, that I would want uh, uh, from you uh, regarding some news emanating from China, and I would wonder, want to understand from you the implications on, on long-term policy emanating from China because of this. Uh, we have been hearing about uh, you know, a decision to do away with, away with uh, uh, the, 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 the two-term cap on presidentship. Uh, many see it as uh, a, a move by Mr. Uh, you know, Xi Jinping to extend his presidency. What I wanted to understand from you is if this is taken forward, what kind of impact will it have on, on policy that emanates from, from, <coughs> from a country like China? You know, uh, it's not appropriate for me to make comments on any domestic policies, mm -hmm. uh, even China. Mm -hmm. So it's not appropriate. But I can uh, tell you, President Xi Jinping has been consistently supportive of AIIB mm -hmm. and he wants this bank to be operated by the highest possible standards. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining CNBC TV 18. Thank you. Thank you.